How y'all doing today? I want to do a little review on a product I just bought for my bike. I got a Vance and Hines Fuel Pack 3. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I just put it on probably an hour, hour and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Put it on there and uh, test rode it in different modes to see what was going to work best with my bike. Now, I removed the baffles from my exhaust and I, just, I can't find a, a tune on there where it's got your baffles removed. But uh, I got as close as I could to the exhaust I got. I picked a different exhaust than I actually got to try to compensate for the uh, back pressure that I alleviated. But uh, auto-tune, I didn't like auto-tune at all. It just seemed like it wasn't wasn't performing like I wanted it to in auto tune. I know it takes time for it to learn it and everything, but it was just taking it to me. It seemed like it wasn't learning anything. Like the little green and yellow blocks that lights up, it never lit up anymore. I went 20 miles and it didn't do anything different. And uh, stuttered a lot on the uh, bottom end. But uh, just their preloaded maps that they got in there. Uh, I picked one as close as I could get to what I think that I've got. And uh, I could see a difference in my bike. I felt like it was running a lot better. A lot better acceleration. Uh, I think it may have helped it run a little cooler. Uh, so the FP3, Fuel Pack 3 for the 2012 103 engines, I, I feel like it's a good a good buy depending on what you're trying to do i'm not trying to race my bike i do like it to uh, perform as best as it can but you know i've got a i've got a big bagger i don't know if you have seen my bike before but there it is yep a man is motorcycle but uh i feel like it's a good a good thing uh it, it gives you all the layouts and stuff of your engine temperature. Something that you know a lot of Harleys don't have is a temperature gauge. You got an air, an ambient air temperature, but that doesn't really give you the information that you need. This actually tells me the engine head temperature, and cylinder temperature. Uh, and I was running, just putzing up the driveway, which my driveway is a quarter of a mile long. Uh, it uh it was about 260 what it was what it was running which is you know normal it's not running hot there uh i don't have a lot of ticking you know whenever i shut the engine off it's not a lot of ticking and all valves tinging and all that <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um i think it's a good a, a, a good uh good product uh the uh like I said, the acceleration is a lot better. It's not a lot of hesitation. You just have to have to play with it a little bit and see see what uh what works best for your bike. And uh, another thing is it's very user friendly. As soon as you turn it on and, uh, and start to do everything, uh, your paper instructions that they give you with the uh, with the actual thing there is very. It just tells you how to plug it up and turn it on. But once you get it turned on, it on your phone, once you download the app, the app tells you everything you need to do, you know, on your next steps. So I think that's a good deal. It's very user-friendly, very simple, basic tuner. I haven't tried any other ones, so I couldn't compare them to anything else. But for me, I, I feel like, you know, I'm satisfied with it. Done what I wanted it to do. Um. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, y'all be safe. Keep riding. And uh, you know, we'll see you out there.